All right, we're back for another red black mid range league. I'll play this for a little while tonight. So let's jump in here. Competitive standard. Might play some Death Shadow tonight, depending on how we do, how things go. Well, we can tighten up a little bit. We made some mistakes, but I think that there's a little bit of unfamiliarity also. Maybe some like not super great aggressive uh, sideboarding could have also contributed to it. No, we're already paired. Holy shnikes. So let's jump into it. My noise, my volume is going well. Yep, 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 yep. Just making sure everything's good. Let's pop this out. I would like to play first. I think I'm going to keep this hand because we we got two of our big big cards. We have a Scrappy Scrounger. So like hand's not super great, but there's a lot of cards we could draw that like make this decent. Like if we draw like a three drop or land or like you know, and these these are obviously great in a lot of matchups. So. I don't really want to send it back. I don't really like mulliganing in standard. Like, is mulliganing aggressive in standard seems like a a way to put yourself behind the eight ball. Blooming Mars, don't play a land or elf. Oh, nice. It's a good draw. Can't cast it, but like we'll probably be able to cast it eventually. And likely gonna be good against the Blooming Marsh deck. Okay. So we're just gonna start by attacking and then play P and K. I'm going to guess Glorybringer is gonna be very good in this matchup. Wow, that's aggressive. I mean I guess like I'm not showing them anything, but the odds are we're gonna be able to get that get that scrap heap scrounger back. And this is a pretty good card. This is Steely Champion. That's a thrashing bots on. Okay. That's a wicked draw. So let's nug this. Then we can play Glorybringer no matter what next turn. Which is pretty great, because we can just plus with our uh, Chandra, unless our opponent plays like a walking Blista. A Blista for two would be annoying. That was Crabby Scrounger, that's okay. Okay, so we're gonna... We're just gonna plus for mana, exert and hit this. I could also exert and hit this and then block this thing, which I kinda like. Alternatively, I can just attack for five and exert on this. It's interesting. I think that we're going to put enough pressure on our opponent that we can actually just... No, I'm going to exert on the Thorn Lieutenant. That's kind of interesting. I'm going to exert on the Lieutenant. And then block here, block this. I just want to keep the board clear when I have this double glory bringers. And then I can just trade, trade the scrap heap scroungers. Neil Bruce. I'm just gonna heal this turn. I'm just gonna block, block. Deal with this. It's gonna be able to come back, but with the with the two glory bringers, we're gonna be able to 
stay on top of this. Especially considering I can, if I draw a land, I can abrade the Harvester and Plague Lord Ringer. That's pretty good, actually. So now, I'm just going to actually Chain Whirler this away. Make mana. Abrade this. I should have made the mana so that I can do this in response, so that I don't get hit with a Blossoming Defense. Oh, they're just going to let that happen. Okay. That makes sense. So, we're still going to make mana. Um, destroy target artifact. Get in for one. Then play Glory Bringer next turn. And my attack should be good here. This is going to cast down the Glory Bringer, it looks like. No, bring back Scrappy Scrounger. Okay. I'm just going to beat in. Chandra's done its work, so. If my opponent, um, if my opponent, uh, wants to, opponent, like, finds a way to kill my Chandra and then, um, get in there, that's all right. Okay. So against this deck, I think we want all the removal that we can find. Um, Soul Scar Mages are probably pretty great. Um, oh, and turn mold. We're the sideboard about this. I'm gonna check that out. All right. So cut the hearts. Cut Karizev. Cut Bodad brings in Rekindling Phoenix, Glory Bringer, Disintegration, Doomfall, and the three Magma Sprays. And I should have this abrade in here somewhere. I'll cut one more card. It doesn't seem super great. Probably a scrap each rounder. We'll be right back. My tea is finishing up. Yeah, we got some tacos and some margaritas yesterday, Ray. It was really good. We're going to keep this hand. This hand's great. Yeah, we got some tacos last night. It was very nice. Definitely looking to go back. So we're just going to spray this, get this thing out of here. We have a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid, really good hand against this deck. We like to draw, draw lands. That's what we're looking to do here. That card is very good against what we're doing, though. Hopefully we can try to beat over the top of it. Steel Leaf Champion would be pretty rough here. 
I'm not super ready for that. Like a little behind. Yeah, that's tough. Um, yeah, I did. Yep, a lot of pretty pretty solid magic. So I can just hit this, use two spells, or I can just deal with this thing. Yeah, it was all pretty interesting, Ray. I had a, had a good time watching it. I think I'm just gonna lightning strike. I'm gonna lightning strike this, hold back the scrap heap scrounger, and then look to kill this next turn, and then hopefully just kind of like mop everything up with glory bringer. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I might end up magma spraying this. Jeez, all right, we're definitely gonna magma spray this because we just gotta use our spells. If we draw another land and we can just start glory bringering, then you know that's okay. So we've got a we've got a chance here. I'm gonna hit this one so that I can get an attack in. We're okay. My opponent didn't play a land, so if my opponent doesn't have a follow up, we're in okay shape. But okay, Bronson's fine. This probably goes at Chandra. And then he's going at me. All right, that's aggressive. So I guess we play a land, play this. Yeah, I can't cast this. Well, I can cast this and then hit this. Yeah, I think I'm going to. The big question is, what do I hit? And I probably hit this thing just to save damage output. I don't get to attack, but we get to glory bring our next turn, which should work out here. Now, hopefully, my opponent's probably going to send. If they didn't attack the first Chandra, they should. Okay, so now they're going to respect it. Which is kind of funny. Okay, Thorn Lieutenant is fine. So I'm going to leave that land in my hand. We're just going to play this, getting in on this uh, Brontodon. And I'm going to attack with my Scrap Heap Scrounger as well. Get this thing out of here. How's your data been today, Ray? Okay, so they had the they had the defense. We still got a card out of it, though that probably locks us out of the game. Another Brontodon's not good. Because we can't block. <laughs> they got us. That was close. I thought we were gonna turn that around there. But now we're on the play. So, hopefully we can get a creature that blocks. Because not being able, you know, if we could have just chump blocked once or twice, we'd be in good shape. But we could not. Just at work. Just trying, just at work trying to will 11 p.m. come faster. <laughs> I like your place. I had a good time there. My wife liked it too. And I got a mulligan. That's just one land on the play. We will keep this. Hazard's on the line faster. Yeah, we're definitely gonna go back. It's so close. It's so close to our house. It's only a ten minute walk from our. It's less than that. It's like a five minute walk from our house. Um, I'm gonna put this on top. I just want to guaranteed cast my uh, Hazard. If I can guaranteed cast Hazard, then I can like fight off some of their big creatures. No land where else is really good. No, we, we left him, actually. We just left him because he's a little... Oh, my opponent F6 through that turn. That sucks. Um, He gets a little uh, wigged out sometimes. 
You know, he wants to play with other people. And if we, do, we can't have him, like, right there next to us, it gets a little awkward sometimes. He's so young. Oh, I appreciate that, Ray. They almost have sex through their turn again. They did. They're just... My opponent is just motoing out. They were just getting their moto on. But yeah, I just scoop it up. That's unfortunate. It would have been nice to see how that game ended up. I haven't played a lot against these green decks. So let's return to details. Let's play again. All right, join the match. I think I misclicked two turns in a row. Probably had too many drinks on a Friday night, on a Saturday night. They decided, don't, you can't drink in moto. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. We have double removal spell into a glory bringer. So if we're playing a creature matchup, our hand's pretty good. At least we cannot get run over. Which, you know, we're in the market for. It's a control deck. If we're playing against a control deck, this is absolutely horrible. But. Okay, so it looks like we're playing a mirror. Alright, well, I guess we're going to get our Heart of Kieran in play. Makes a couple more plays work out. Yeah. I hate Mulligan, though. So. All right, we're going to kill that Kari Zev on the spot. We're just going to do it right now for the uh, for the F6 value. Yeah, the fact that it's a mirror makes me happier. Bodad. Some Bodangle action. Bowman Courier is so good. Bowman Courier was all over the Legacy table today at the SCG. And the Delver decks. Now the Deathrite Shaman's gone. Okay, so we're going to cycle this Canyon Slow. And I'm going to do that right now. To potentially hit land. Or hit a 2-drop. Okay. And I'm not going to abrade this Bowmat Courier. Until I figure out, I see what they're doing with, um, like, what they do. Because I would like to go, like, I'd like to just Glory Bringer it to keep my abrade going on. Okay. I don't really want to kill this unless I have to, especially when I've got a powerful follow up. Yeah, the Bomat is so good. Yep. T Water's ready. Because they don't play anything that I just want to glory bringer this. And if they play like a rekindling Phoenix, Chandra, that's that's kinda kinda sucks. Five mana just to deal two damage. So I kinda wanna just abrade this because I wanna attack with Glory Bringer twice without exerting it to threaten killing this. So, I am just going to get this thing out of here, and then just swing in for five. And now next turn we can guarantee finish the Chandra off. But now, having drawn that, I wish I hadn't had, uh, I wish I had not have killed that Beaumont Courier, but such is life. My opponent plays a Kindling Phoenix here, that would be sweet. Do so you playing any magic lately, or in the upcoming uh, days, upcoming days or months, Ray? Guess they have their own glory bringer. So this is a race that we are losing for sure. So I think we just got to take care of this and just. Play a land and pass the turn. 
Like we're on, we're looking to trade glory bringers here. Basically can't be a follow. Okay. All right, big draw step. That was huge. That was big. I'm going to leave this land in my hand. That was a huge draw step. Play modern against Miles. Nice. That Rekindling Fiend. We're just like trading huge. Cinder Barons probably means that's a bigger version of the deck. Wow. All right. <coughs> so we're going to end up hitting this with Disintegration. Then we get more. We're drawing two cards a turn. So if my opponent misses, we're in pretty good shape. If we hit a way to kill this on this turn, like that's gonna be unreal. If we get a like, hit our second glory bringer or a whatever it is, a uh, Another Phoenix, geez. So there's the bigger version of my deck. Wow, that's pretty big too. So we got to attack and kill this, and then hope to draw, like, I don't know, a lot of cards in a row to deal with this Rekindling Phoenix. We both just drawn some, like, incredible Haymakers. Because we have to get a Phoenix off the board. They can just trade and then bring it back. But they might not do that because like it leaves it open to if my last card's a removal spell. Yeah. That's a good point from the opponent. There's just no need to risk it. Cycle slew. Hard of Kieran. So where is this going? Go to Chandra. That makes sense. Because they draw a creature. It's a, a cre way to crew this. It's lethal anyways. Soul Scar Mage isn't bad. So now they just they got a miss. Each one of us have hit on like several draw. Yeah, that's game. Each one of us have hit like on several draw steps right in a row there. So that was that was a pretty insane back and forth. So in the mirror. So we want these Chandra's defeats. They're the bigger version. So I think we want all of our grindy cards. We don't want Bodad. Soul Scar Mage is probably medium. Heart of Kieran's not great. We probably maybe, I guess, this abrade's like maybe. I don't want too much removal. I kind of just want like bombs. This card was probably better than cards have. So let's try this. The Soul Scar Mages might not be good. Like you might want something like, like there's a chance that you want like duress against them. Maybe duress is better than Soul Scar Mage. If they're the bigger bird, like they're the Cinder Baron deck. Yeah, that probably is right. Okay, this is pretty good. They're just like the low to the ground. They're like the bigger version. So maybe like the Soul Scar Mage is good to get under them. Then Mulligan is good for the home team. And they put a card on the bottom, which is also good. Well, I'm definitely going to think about Duress, Ray, for the next one. I probably should have also brought in like, my Magma Sprays to hit Scrapping Scrounger out of them. If I get this Doomfall this turn, I'm going up with it. I'm taking a card from their hand. 
The like the the bombs are just too good. Hard of hearing, okay. Definitely need a land drop next turn. Or I am in a lot of trouble. It's hard to cure, it's gonna make my planeswalkers even more like just more difficult. Scrappy, okay. And they are having a block party. Okay. And our opponent's out of mana. Jeez. Yield through the turn. I'm sort of much more, um, much more excited to bring Duress in, especially if they're going to leave Heart of Kieran in after sideboard, because like that's just another hit. They are crewing it, okay. My opponent's like steal, stolen the tempo back from me. Especially if they have a follow-up creature. Well, if they had a follow-up creature, they would have played it. Unless it's not, it doesn't crew the heart. It doesn't make any sense. It's not bad. I guess they want to play offense and defense with the heart. <clears throat> it's gonna be a tough one to win. My opponent's gonna like draw like nothing probably for the rest of the game. And we have to start hitting lands, but even a Chandra doesn't do a whole lot on this board. Unless I go up with it. And then I have to like chump, chump. I guess trade chump. Unless I want to like attack my scrounger, then hit this. Okay. So I'm going to trade with this Bowmat Courier. Yeah, and that's just like, unfortunately, probably too slow. Because if my opponent has a way to, to accrue this, I'm just dead because I can't kill an artifact. Like if this is a Chain Whirler. Okay, so with this on the stack, Chandra's defeat that. So that they can't use the Pia and the Thopter to crew this. Which buys me another turn. Whether it matters or not is another good question. We should have stuck on the third land, which my opponent got stuck on two, but this heart of Kieran was just the nut. Just beat my face in. All right, sending a message on the way out. Dealing with that thing. So maybe I was supposed to bring in, I probably was supposed to bring in my Magma Sprays, even against the bigger version of the deck. And that's just like my inexperience not knowing. If I played more against in this deck, I would probably play more standard, I would probably know that. Because the Cinder Barons kind of made me think like they're the bigger version. Maybe I had a long Magma Spray, but I'm like, Magma Spray still hits just all the important stuff. Not all the important stuff, but it does hit um it does hit Scrappy Scrounger. So it's probably just better than like Lightning Strike. Hopefully I can rattle off four in a row here. That'd be pretty sweet. Would like to play first? Or three in a row. And I would like to keep. Gonna lead off on the mountain. 
Mountain in a Bodad is my favorite start. <clears throat> Gonna look to play two or three leagues tonight. Probably be up for a little while. So I'm gonna play the hard on two. Hopefully I get to chain whirler my opponent. That would make me feel good. Add a sequencing, but like it doesn't really matter. Drawing a land next turn would be gas. For sure. Okay, I'll play this card is out. We can draw land. Crew heart. Then we're going to serve for four. <clears throat> yeah, that's rough. Takes out my bow, my bow dad. Now I need a. I just need this. I need a land really bad. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm definitely just chain whirling. Can't cast my next chain whirler, which is noteworthy. And I'll crew the heart with uh with the scrap heap scrounger because it can't block or attack through the chain whirler. Yield through the turn. So we have a turn, we can go like Soul Scar Mage and the Lightning Strike next turn. Gonna block this. Free block. Okay. <clears throat> so if I attack with my Heart of Kieran and my Chain Whirler. My opponent probably trades Chain Whirlers, blocks this with Heart of Kieran. So like crew here attack, they likely go trade, block, and then we can Chain Whirler after combat to clean up the Rekindling Phoenix token. And then we're pretty far ahead on the board with a good turn next turn. Of like Soul Scar Mage plus Lightning Strike. Those trade. Always yield. Get this egg out of here. Then yield through the turn. So we're in we're in a good spot. I mean, it could ease like my opponent has a glory bringer here. We could be in trouble. We just have nothing. That sucks. So we're just going to attack. I could clear it out, but either of these creatures will kill it anyways. Okay, sure. And like this, this lightning strike could do some damage next turn. We're not going to play this land because it only matters if we hit Glorybringer. And I'd rather have the option to cycle this than use um, the lightning strike next turn to pump this to deal five. All right, Hazard's pretty big game.
That just kills my opponent, I think. If... Yeah, because if either of my creatures connect, then we get there. If they have a removal spell, then I'm, like, dead. Recycle this. Okay, land. So now we still don't kill them through a removal spell. Where's the modern? Not not now. Playing some standard. I've got my modern deck pretty set, I think. So I just want to uh, play standard in order to make sure I know what's going on for my teammate. Nice. All right, uh, lightning strike you. Yes, for sure. Okay, we can see. You're in Brazil. What is it? Like super early for you or is it late? All right, what do I want to bring in? Where's the mid range? So we're going to cut the hearts. Cut Momat. Cut Chandra. In Chandra's Feet, Chandra's Feet, Magma Spray, Magma Spray. Abraid, Doomfall. I'm going to cut this card. He's out of two and bring in a Disintegration. It's 11.37 p.m. So you're only an hour and a half ahead. You're I think so. I, mean, I don't really know a lot about standard, but like this game's been pretty good. Let's keep this hand. The deck still does a lot of good stuff. Soul Scar Mage is kind of a big game though. Double Soul Scar Mage and one land from the opponent? Jeez. I don't know. They have two lands. Okay. Um. I kind of want to go, like. Now, I want to save this Chandra's defeat. I think we're just going to play. It sucks to play Scrappy Scrounger into the face of a Chain Whirler, but, you know, that's, that's just life. Opponent's attacking. Yep, you got it, you got it, you got it, sir. Not a chain whirler, it's a chain whirler. They use their energy. Sad. Okay, so we're just gonna hit this. Attack for two. Play our own Soul Scar Mage. It is all going it's all going south. This is like a Chandra, it's pretty bad. I'm just gonna block. Like my opponent blows me out, they blow me out. At least if they lightning strike me, they're not like adding to the board. Playing like a big scary four drop. Now I'm gonna be mana efficient. So let me get in an attack for two. And then I'll braid the Soul Scar Mage. I'm going to do it on my turn, too. So if they, like, use a spell. They have to have, like, two spells. And at least it's smaller on my... on uh, It's smaller when they're attacking. If they want to try to save it. We're kind of close. We're kind of close to stabilizing. My opponent has no big bombs. Like, the four drops are just so good. Yeah, they got a... Uh, Magma Spray, looks like? No. So we have burn. I shouldn't have shouldn't have played that, but I 
I kind of just want to hold my mana up. But I'm actually just going to play as Pia. Because even if they have a removal spell for this, I can still chump block something to gain, save some life. They hit their Pia, okay. We're all about surviving. I'm going to take one damage. Azrit. All right, gross. And like the hazard's probably just unbeatable for where the position of the game we're in. Let's get this off the battlefield. Attack with my scrap heap scrounger. Can I attack with both, or do I have to chump block this? This is three. Six, nine, twelve. I'm just like a little short. So we need to like survive in order to get the rekindling phoenix to just chump block the uh, the whatever it is the hazard for the rest of the game. That's really what we need in order to win this. Okay. Actually, it's not bad. So hang on. We're gonna disintegrate. We're gonna lightning strike this. Um, lightning strike this. Untap, disintegrate it. Disintegrate the egg. Then attack. Can I attack for three? I think I'm just going to attack for three. Then hope we hit a land drop. Hope their hand stays clunky. The fact they're not playing lands means that they have like some really big, powerful four drops. But like this, we're putting them on a two-turn clock. And I think that's the best that we've got. Here comes Glorybringer, and that probably kills us. Okay. There's Scrappy Scrounger. And now we're just dead to like hazard attack, activation, activation. Unless we hit another disintegration. Wow. That's pretty lucky. I'm going to wait for my opponent to tap out and use their land because I don't want them to like kill their own scrap heap scrounger. Red, black, one. And get him. There we go. So lost a mirror, won a mirror. It's pretty lucky. I do enjoy, so like, the difference between standard and modern is pretty big in how you play. Like in standard, you're, it's about like enacting game plans and playing towards those game plans. Modern's much more like singular decision oriented, like each, evaluating each turn and being efficient. So I do like how this, I, I like the switch up. The switch up is nice. I do miss Death Shadow though. Might play some, I might play some Death Shadow tonight. I would like to play some Rug Delver. That is really what I would like to do. Those Delver mirrors look so interesting on camera today without Death Right Shaman. But in order for me to stream Delver mirrors, I need you all to follow. Because if I'm almost to a thousand followers, if we get to a thousand, then I will it'll widen the range of cards that I can borrow and I can apply for other sponsorships. So a thousand is the first step. I am going to keep my hand. It's a little greedy, but we have a lot of lands in the deck. Like we play 25, so we have early interaction if we need it. Okay, so we're playing an artifact deck. Yield through this turn.
You should add me on. I, I should get your mo your moto name nameless. I think we're just gonna untap land. Okay, nice. You should give me your moto name so I can add you as a buddy. There, senor. Do you watch the uh, the SCG at all today? I feel like I'm not going to get any good targets for this lightning strike. If I ever have a dream of playing this Hazret, I guess I should just start firing this off. Land. Scrap Heap is not a land, but it's okay. Very counter this. Okay. Nope. They didn't even use their Renegade map when they could have. It probably just looks like they're saving that, yeah. Karn, okay. You can have the land. This Karn's gonna be difficult. Need to hit a land here. Come on, land. Not land. Getting into this car is going to suck. And the fact that we can't redirect this disintegration to the car anymore is going to make it even more difficult. Okay. So I think I'm going to either disintegrate this. Jesus. This is all. This all just got out of control. Disintegrate and attack. Attack Karn. It's probably just trades of the construct. At least that means they're not like four million big constructs. Our opponent still has five cards, which is scary. Sacrifice. Bring your key game alive. Sacrifice on another draw card. Jeez. All right. And I think I've had enough. So we play Soulscar Mage. Get a land. Bring back Soulscar Mage. Get cracked for 42, or at least seven. And another Karn thing. We don't have a what? Yeah, we're good. And they have their engine online, anyways. So. I do not know how to sideboard against this deck. I think I want to sideboard like it's a control deck, but leaving some disintegrations and abrades. So like, I don't want my lightning strikes. Probably don't want these soul scar mages. I think I do want disintegration, doomfall, abrade. Um. The hearts don't really seem that great, especially if they get the other card going. But the heart also flies over and deals with Planeswalkers. Maybe I'll we'll leave Hearted on the play and go something like this. Maybe I could want this Glorybringer. Just go all in the air. Hazard doesn't seem great if my opponent's clogging up the ground. But then again, maybe Hazard's like too good anyways. Maybe the Chandra's weak. Because I kind of want to bring in these two, these Rekindling Phoenixes. But maybe I'm over sideboarding. I don't think these are better than these. Maybe sideboard differently on the draw. Not super sure. So how's everybody in the chat doing tonight? How's how's life? Alright, we'll keep this. So this is like a Bodad on one, another Bodad. Into like a Canyon Slow, Duress on turn, on turn, uh, 
turn three, which is like enough to get underneath a Karn. Our hand's super cheap, so we're gonna be able to empty it pretty quickly for these Belmat Couriers. Traveler's Amulet. Opponent's going all in on these dirty artifacts. That's a that's a pretty good draw as well, because like that's gonna be online quickly. It's basically like guaranteed online if we draw a fourth land. If my opponent metallic rebukes this, I'm gonna abrade uh, this traveler's amulet so that if I draw a land next turn, then I can um then I can get in with my uh Karn, my whatever it is, my um, Hazret. I guess I'm going to take the Rebuke. I kind of want to just abrade this amulet right now while I have priority, just so that, because my opponent's hand's like pretty weak to Hazret, so I am just going to like get this card out of my hand. Oh wow, they have six, holy shit. All right, we need a land. Nope, not a land. Sad. So hopefully if my opponent slams Karn, they make a construct so that I can abrade the construct. But that wouldn't make much sense for them to make the construct. Okay. So I'm going to give them another Tezzeret because they already have one. Okay, well the Chain Whirler is at least something we can cast. I guess I will start to attack Karn. Now we're threatening to kill Karn next turn. My opponent makes, what does this do? Create a 1-1, one, one, zero draw card. Oh, okay. I guess it was the wrong time to use my Chain Whirler. You can just have another one of these. So he's got three Tezzerets in their hand. Jeez. How desperate am I? Like, do I have to crack my... kind of almost feel like I have to crack my... my hand here. Attack Karn, attack Karn. I'm going to destroy this because it's a guaranteed land for them. Sack this. At least I can get the Scrappy Scrounger back. Well, they're all my lands. <clears throat> so we're going to play Rekindling Phoenix next turn. Then after that, hopefully draw another spell. Give you an island. So I play island. Okay. It's getting rough. I guess the Phoenix is the airplane's not even good. That's pretty good though. Oh, that's really good for the home team. So let's attack Karn, because we get to kill this Psy if my opponent blocks with it, and then we get Karn out of the way. We don't really want to attack Tezzeret, because they've got a million other Tezzerets that they can just replay. All right, there's a win. Chain is so good. Mm. 
yield until the next end step. So let's get this scrap heap grounder back. Exile Bowmat Courier. Bowdangle. So I think we're just going to send everything at my opponent. Because, like, there's no sense attacking this Tezzer when they have two more. We just bring back the Scrap Heap Scrounger. And all this is okay. We're slowly just gnawing through their resources. Draw a card, okay. Hopefully they don't rebuke me. Man, we are scrapping. They had a defeat for the chain mode. Okay. I guess yield yield until next end step in case they kill the scrap heap scrounger. I need like one more big draw. If I can get this off the battlefield, I should be okay. So we know two out of the four cards in their hand. Are these Tezzerets? Okay, Karn's, Karn's pretty big game. To put a fountain in play. Okay. Another chain where it would be Dece. Glorybringer. Card of Kieran's not bad. So I think, again, we're just going to send everything at our opponent. I, just don't, I don't think we're overcoming the Planeswalker advantage that they've occur, accrued. Get this heart in play. Gain a million life. This is likely a losing battle. Maybe I was supposed to. I mean, I have plenty of rule. I guess I only have three disintegrations for this thing. All right, they make a construct. Construct is getting big. What are they doing? They're whirring? Is that even in the format? Word for invention? No, oh, battle the bridge. Get rid of chain whirler, okay. That likely just shuts the door on us. Yeah, we're going to go to the next game. Just try again. The Psy, Psy was really good right there. I just didn't have, a, I didn't have an answer for it. And it just took over the game. All right, return to details. Let's see if we can get out of here. Psy is the new mentor. Yeah, it might be. I mean, it's pretty sweet. Like... What it does, it is it is very it is very good at doing what it does. <clears throat> In some ways, it's like chain roller proof because you don't lose any resources with what you're doing. You know, because like you're just playing magic, and cat and it's doing its thing, and then occasionally you just have some mana left over. And you can 
you know, cash in on that. So, I'm also tempted to try the Zombies deck. The deck looked pretty good today when I was uh, when I was playing it. I was playing against it. So I might want to give that a try. It does not cost a lot. Yeah, I might try this deck next. It's only got one Liliana. I kind of want to play more Lilianas. Only got one Metallic Mimit. I don't really want to play Scrappy and Scrounger. I kind of just want to play all the Metallic Mimits. Mimits. If I want to play Scrappy and Scrounger, I might as well play Hardy Kieran. Very in standard B Temple or Storm and Standard, like the, the mono blue Etherflux Reservoir deck. I think I'm going to mulligan this hand. This hand just seems too slow on the draw. Yeah. Keep and pray, but anything that's not laying on the bottom. It's kind of like a mold of five, these two Pias. Playing it's a red green deck. All right. Well, if we're not gonna draw a land, Bowman Courier is the next best thing. Okay, Thornwall Lieutenant, the Brick Wall. Yield until next turn. <clears throat> or I could try like the blue black deck, splashing the Bolas. Try that out. Could do a whole lot. Or I could just play another league of this. So yeah, these are lieutenants. They are kind of a problem. I'm gonna play Pia just to like use my mana efficiently. I can go like double two drop next turn. We're gonna try this. It did win the PTQ. Is it up? Is the list up here? All right. Well, we're, we basically traded Pia for Magma Spray there. No, the, the doesn't look like it's up yet. Land of War Elves. Goblin Chain Whirler. I guess I'll Chain Whirler the Land of War Elves. They missed a land drop. And I get to attack with Bowmat Courier. You just watch the re so where'd you watch the replays? Did the guy stream it? Oh yeah, that was probably what's his name? Jessup's deck. Opponent's got plenty of removal. Alright, so we're gonna attack with Bowmat Courier again. And then play another Pia. The replays on Moto. I didn't know you could do that. I, I, I know I, I knew you could do that. I just didn't know how to do it. I guess. Again, we're gonna throw both of our both Pia and the Thopter ahead of in front of one of these Thorn Wall tenants. If you participate. That makes sense. Okay, so they're holding back, which is good for the home team. It's probably a some big and gross bane fire. Why not attack? Seems very odd to me. This is poor sequencing. Um okay. I'm not gonna get my bow mat courier in combat. Like I'm gonna use that to push through to draw cards, so I might as well not hold anything else back here.
So I could just swing out, kill both of these, and then draw cards with Bowmack Courier, which I kind of like doing. I want to do it before combat so I don't run face first into a um, whatever it is, uh, Blossoming Defense. Always yield, always yield. Draw cards. All right, we got a good, got a good one. We got a dragon. All right, nice. So they just got stuck on land, which sucks for them. So we're playing against a big red green beat deck. I would assume that that blue black deck, blue, the blue black. The Bolas deck's probably good against these red-black decks. You probably want to go up over the top of all these big, ugly creatures. You probably don't want, like, Scrap Heap Scrounge or Heart of Kieran. Because they're probably going to be beating me around a little bit. Um, I bet they have Glory Bringers and, like, Rekindling Phoenix. This seems underwhelming. Three cards have to go. Probably the Chandras aren't very good on the draw. Because especially if they got that Thornwall dude, they're just going to have like... But I guess like even if they have one ones, we just clean them up with P and K. Maybe I don't want this much removal. Probably just want all my heavy hitters. Well, what a muffed up curve this is. I'm gonna play these because I'm sure they have like Lord Bringer. This is Doomfall's garbage. Especially against that Thorn dude. It's probably good to know. Bowmats are pretty bad. Yeah, I guess they get brick walled. So maybe like at least Scrappy Scrounger can attack. Yeah, I'll try this. Turn on my disintegration. Give this a whirl. Yeah, Bowmat's pretty bad because, especially because of the Thornwell Hydra or the the two two. What's the two? The two's the the two two. The bear that makes a dude. Ah, uh, this hand looks kind of slow. My opponent mulliganed. I just feel like I'm going to get run over. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, we'll keep this. We have a removal spell and a chain whirler. Put anything that's not a land on the bottom. That on top. So we go removal spell into chain gang, which is nice. And that kind of helps out. Um, kind of helps out with like the Thornwell. Like we can just kill the Thornwell guy and then play Chain Whirler. Oh, no play from our opponents. Pretty sweet. Yield through this turn. It's been good. It's it's a it's a good deck. I'm not a very good standard player. I usually play a lot of modern, but I'm playing standard now. Jade Light Ranger. Okay. I usually play quite a bit of modern, so I'm not a super good standard player. All right, so we're just going to get rid of this now because the Chain Whirler doesn't do anything with it. A new subscriber on YouTube, which you also do. My YouTube channel is linked below. Just going to play this out. We're not, getting any, we're not doing anything with our Chain Whirler. So we know they have a Magma Spray. Um, oh, that's the, that's the, uh, YouTube one coming through the computer there. YouTube subscription, which is always good. I 
I don't really like doing this. But I kind of have to now that I did this. Yeah, I, I muffed up here. Just get the Chain Whirler in play. Uh, yield through this turn. I should have just played my Hazret. I messed up here. Like, this was a mistake on my part. If I just played Hazret, then I would have had better options next turn. Glory Bringer. Okay. We're just going to race here. So I can attack back next turn. If I draw a land, I can attack for two, five, two, three, four, nine. I'm getting hit for seven. Yeah. It's all right. We can shrink the glory bringer with uh, with our a braid next turn if we need to. Another glory bringer here would suck. Yeah, that sucks. Though the P and K can help me a little bit. They're holding this back. They should hold this back. Not if they're gonna hold a blocker back. Two, four, five, two, eight. They should hold this. They should. De this should definitely attack and exert. This is what you probably should hold back if you want to hold something back. But I can just pee it. Okay, hit my soul's car mage. It's good. It's a good player from the opponent. That's a pretty big draw. So hit this. They attack. Braid the egg. So I kind of have to do this all right now if I want to do it. We have very like Chandra's defeat, Pia, and then I can just attack though the Heshep Oasis then kills me. So I have to leave back. They have a Magma Spray. That's their last card. So I've almost got to go like PNLR. I just go like Chandra's defeat PNLR, attack, lead back the two Thopters. Yeah, so let's go defeat this. <coughs> keep this one, choose this one to keep. And then we attack for seven. And this puts like a lot of pressure under my opponent to not like to make it so they have to do like some bad blocks next turn, and then I can like PS some things out of the way. They have to kill my Pia. Not killing my Pia is crazy, right? Because I go like a braid this. Just make make it so this can't block. A braid this, crack in for two. Then I'm dead on the crack back. I guess if I just abrade this and attack with everything, they have to block with the egg and it's just the glory bringer. Yeah, so that's that's what we're gonna do. And I can pump one of these. So to get a little more damage in. Alternatively, I can just leave back. I want to make it so this has to block. So I have to attack with at least eight. I can leave back a Thopter. The Magma Spray makes it so I can't kill them this turn. So discard with Hazret, make it not block. Would that have been a better play? So they're at eight. Discard Hazard makes six. Make it so this can't block. Yeah, I would have won the game. 
I made a mistake there. Right, discard. If their last card's nothing, then I would have just won doing that. Yep, I just I tossed that one. But this makes it so this has to... Doesn't have to chump. Well, now I just killed myself, right? So I have to hold back both of these. Because they can just hit this. Yeah, I screwed this whole turn up here. This is just like a massacre. Yep, messed this all up. Yeah, this was just absolutely awful. I should have like shot, th thrown this at that. Yeah, this was so bad. This was just so bad. This is just not really being like used to like all the tips and tricks you can play with this card. This was just this was just horrible. They probably it most likely cost me this game. It's not dead. Because they need to, they need to come up with. They just go like, hit this, pump the glory bringer. With the Hesha Oasis. God, I fucked this game all up. And my opponent sees it. Yeah, no, they deserve this one. They make this big. Yep, and I would have won if I had done it the other way. You were right there, B Temple. Yep, that was that was just like super poor. Pia is a hard card to play with. Pia is a tough, tough card to play with. I think I'm going to keep it all the same. I feel like I had the tools to win that. Yeah, I could have played I could have played that better. We'd like to play first. Yeah, this hand's pretty good. I will keep it. It's a lot of removal. Need to draw a threat. I'm going to lead off on the mountain so that if my opponent does play a whatever the card is, that I can just, a land war elf, I can just spray it. Yeah, discard with Hazret. Sack of Thopter. We put them to six. They would have needed two removal spells to kill me. So that would have won me the game. For sure. Or they'd have to have perfect, perfect. And then I die in the crackback. Because I would have had... They'd have been at six. I would have attacked with Hazret And Thopter. And Pia. Which is eight points. Across three different bodies. So, easily could have gone a different way there. All right, so we get to kill this. All right, Chain Whirl is sweet. Yield through the next line step. I'll actually yield through the turn. Next time, Branch Walker, okay. If this hits, if this draws a land, they're killing like Phoenix. Phoenix is kind of scary. They've been at those. They probably need lands. So I think we're just going to get rid of this. Would have liked to be able to Chain Whirler, but that wasn't an option. I'm just going to play Chain Whirler. We're going get to our, get our 3 3 on the battlefield. So I'm actually just going to lightning strike this <coughs> and then get in. My, my mana looks like it's going to be pretty used up for the next couple turns. So I would like to be able to hit my opponent's next play with this Glory Bringer. 
Chandra's defeat. Okay, we'll take that. Then my opponent plays another Rekindling Phoenix here. I can defeat it and then hope to rip a land for this Glorybringer. Okay. So I drew two lands. Alright. Let's hope my opponent doesn't have a Chandra's defeat. We don't have it. Sweet, 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 sweet. We have Glorybringer off. No, we can win Phoenix. We're going to pass. Then, like, Chandra's defeat this Rekindling Phoenix, then Glory Bringer it. Is our game plan. No sense taking the damage. Though, if my opponent has a defeat, they can now kill this. Okay, Branch Walker, Rekindling Phoenix. They're probably going to draw that. Because I can just cast it. No, they already played their little hand. Yeah, they did. Thrashing Bronze it on. Okay. Alright, we got to not draw any more lands. That would be sweet. We should have played one of those lands. Opponent cracks me for six. Plays Rekindling Phoenix. So if I don't play this Chain Whirler, three, six, ten, I die to a Glory Bringer. If I 3, 6, 10, 14, a, uh, I hit this right here, then kill the egg, or maybe I just had to draw something in order to have a shot at this. This is tough. So am I supposed to hold this to hopefully clear out this Rekindling Phoenix next turn? Because it doesn't do anything on this board, basically. If they don't have anything, though they haven't been playing lands, so they likely have something. How do I win? Honestly, I probably win by them playing another Rekindling Phoenix, us going Glory Bringer, attack, exert on one, kill the other, chain whirler them after combat, hope they miss, hit another draw step. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna shoot for that. Let me just This is a glory bringer, I'm just dead. Yeah, they had a glory bringer. Yep. Sad, 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 sad. Sad, sad, sad. What should we play next? 